Okay, we're gonna go over properly cleaning and lubing the chain on your adventure bike. Now we're working on a 2019 BMW 850 GS. This procedure will be the same for any chain driven adventure bike. Now the products we'll be using is a spray bottle with some kerosene in it. And I have this labeled in my garage for kerosene. A chain cleaning brush. Now I'll put a link in the video description down below on some nice ones you can get off of Amazon really cheap. That's where I got these. They work great. Um, you can use a regular brush if you already have one. This is just nice and just three-sided. It'll clean all three sides of the chain um, with each pass. And then to lube your chain, I've been using this off of recommendations and reviews and I love it. So I'm going to share a link uh, in the video description down below on this as well. This is a great chain lubricator. Um, again, you can uh, get this on Amazon fairly cheap. So it's actually a very simple process. We're going to spray the chain down with kerosene as we rotate it so that we get kerosene on all three sides. Be careful you don't get this on your tire or it'll make you uh, slip and you can have an accident. Kerosene and rubber does not mix. So just be very careful you don't get this on the, uh, on the tire itself. So once you have that all soaked down, go ahead and run your brush, set your brush on there and just run the chain through the brush. Let's see if I can get my hand out of the way for you. And then you can run it the other way. Do that as many times as you need to until you have all the gunk and everything off of the chain. Once you're done that, go ahead and wipe off all the excess. We don't want any extra kerosene on here. We want to get all that off of the bike, off of the assembly here, off of the chain. So you can already see it looks pretty clean on there just by looking at it. You see the difference already. Now if you want to, you can actually rinse this chain down with a low pressure water and then wipe it dry as well. I've never needed to, and I've never had any issues with the lubricant sticking just using the process I'm using here. So once you have all that excess kerosene off of there, we're ready to go ahead and spray our lubricant. Directions on the bottle, very simple to follow. Just simply shake this rigorously to mix all the components, and then we're gonna spray on all three sides of the chain. I just spray it on there really liberally. And then like I said, that'll dry to a nice waxy film and that's all there is to it. Uh, and now we're good to go for some more riding. Once you see some gunk building up on your chain, you'll know when it's time to give it another cleaning. Very important you do that so that your chain doesn't prematurely wear out um, and you end up having to replace that sooner than what would normally be necessary. So I hope this video helped you out. If you liked it, please uh, subscribe and hit the video with a like. Thanks for watching.